Alright, so uh, just got the brand new Protac Rail Mount 1 from Streamlight. They also have a 2, which is a little bit bigger, 650 lumens. And this one is 350. The the number two is only ten dollars more. <laughs> so, you know, you you might want to go with that. I'm putting this on an AR pistol, so I wanted to keep the length a little sm short. So, and this, as you can see, comes with a double A and a one two three. The full 350, you have to use the one two three. But for a lot of people, they're gonna like that you can use a double A and. Honestly, I have no problem using CR123s, but I like the idea that this will run with a double A. The Model 2 does not have that option. What's nice about this is, well, it's programmable. There's three settings, weighs four ounces. You got programmable light. And look at what it comes with. It comes with the pressure switch. It comes with the mount so you know those things cost more money in some lights and I've got a feeling and I read one one review already and uh, I'm hoping I feel the same way that I feel that this is gonna be the de facto default go-to light instead of a surefire moving forward now it you know I surefire is certainly uh, you know no questions asked probably the best you can get but if you want to get their mini scout the new uh the new m 300 c is 300 lumens i've got the m 600 which is 500 lumens and now they're new 500 i think it's a 600 and it's 600 lumens whatever i mean you're talking 220 bucks to, to 300 dollars and um i have many streamlight TLR lights. The only thing I ever had a problem with with a stream light was I broke there's a plastic housing on the TLR4 which is a nice weapon light that you can get for about 75 bucks and it I dropped the pistol hit the light first and it cracked the housing. Now it still worked. It cracked the, the mount and they just sent me a brand new light. And uh I'll also say that one time I got a TLR4, which is the light laser combo, and it was simply missing one of the keys, which is there's five keys that determine what rail, how you mount it to whatever gun. They sent me an entirely brand new TLR4, so that's correct. I then owned two TLR4s for the price of one. So I gotta say that Streamlight's customer service is pretty good. Um... And, uh, you know, there's a lot of good, uh, a lot of good, you know, reviews and what have you, but it's a little big, but again, that's why I went with the, t the model one instead of the model two. I wanted to keep it at least a little bit, uh, smaller. I haven't opened it yet, as you can see, but if you're looking for a light, this just became available one week ago. Today's the 24th of April, 2016. So this has only been available a year ago. If I was you... I would buy this from Primary Arms on YouTube, on YouTube, on uh, eBay. It's ninety-nine dollars and like forty-six cents. And I got this one from Ecop because I didn't see the Primary Arm ones. And I mean, I got it in four days, but I bet if I ordered it from Primary Arms, I'd have probably had it in two days. And I just prefer to support Primary Arms over Ecop. I'm gonna open it up. I'll show you some of the stuff when we get in there. But um, that's what your end product's gonna be. All right, let's get in there. So this is a uh, separate. Okay, what I was curious about with this is, yep, if you could take off the, the mount, and I'm wondering if this is going to work with other Surefire mounts. But we'll, the jury's out for that. We'll see. But this is all aluminum. But like the Surefire, you can take this off. And you can mount it to certain, like, M-lock mounts and things like that. So, and underneath here, yeah. there we go. Oh, you know what else I like? And this is not normal. You not only have the momentary pressure switch, but it has a permanent on-off. If you want that in a Surefire remote switch, you're looking at $80, 75 bucks.
So, again, I really can't complain. With what you get for this, this is the go-to. And then you got zip ties and Allen keys. What's cool about this is this will hold your uh, remote switch on, because that's a problem. Double-sided tape doesn't work so good. At least uh, Magpul has come out with a uh, M-Lock and I think a key mod um, remote switch holder for all the Surefires. This is definitely not going to fit. This is way too big. This is definitely not going to fit in that. But it, it comes with its own. So This solves a lot of problems. I will say this. The tape they include, this VHB 3M, This is that stands for Very High Bond. This is the same double-sided tape you would use on a uh, GoPro or a Drift camera. This is, this is about as good as a double-sided tape you're going to get. And the beam is very focused. And of course, we're indoors. As you can see, it's got a nice spot. And if I double-tap it, it's a strobe. And again, it's momentary. And if I double-do it, it's a strobe, which I like. So you can do momentary on, click, or double tap, and you get a strobe. I think it's a winner. It's a winner. Winner. Oh, yeah. And the smart son of a bitches did what I thought they were. This is the exact same mechanism that's on a Surefire. So all your M300s, your M600s, anything with the... Surefire base like that. This comes off so this light can be used with something like this. This is a risk offset scout mount. So any scout mount will work with this. That just, uh, I'll tell you guys, first impression of this light. Thumbs up.